Hey everyone! Okay, so I am not your normal Thursday. I am a fill-in... ish, I guess. I don't know. So this week's theme was freestyle, and so my freestyle is going to be, I'm going to show you guys how to dance like this. So yeah, if you want to learn how to dance, keep watching. Okay, so I was completely just kidding. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my top five summer um, favorite scents. And my main channel is Panda Loves Beauty, so if you want to go check it out, I will link it right around my head. It will be floating around my head. So go check that out. And so yeah, I'll just get into my five favorite scents. So these are in no particular order, but um, Be Delicious. This is the one food ounce, I believe. And I got this at Kohl's, and they had a deal, and it was get this and the matching lotion for only 20 bucks. so I'm like, I have to get it, because it smells amazing. Like, for a while, before I really got into makeup, I was a perfume junkie, like, seriously, I was obsessed, like, crazy. Okay, so the notes in this fragrance are American Apple, Cucumber, Grapefruit, Candid Magnolia, Two Rose, White Mugent, Rose, Violet, Sandalwood, Tender Skin Accord, Blonde Woods, and White Amber. And the style of this is free-spirited, refreshing, and unique. And it definitely is really, it's really fresh. I'm not a fresh perfume girl. I really like sweet and fruity, but this has its fruitiness to it. And it lasts all day, so that is why it is one of my top five favorites. So my next fra fragrance is Pink Sugar by Aqualina. And the notes in this one are bergamot, Sicilian orange, raspberry, fig leaves, lily of the valley, licorice, strawberry, red fruit, cotton candy, vanilla, caramel, musk, wood, p powder. And the style is playful, mischievous, and romantic. Okay, so I wore this, like, I, this was kind of my school perfume towards the last three months. And someone, every day, I would have someone tell me that I smelled good. And, like, I was in the middle of class one time, and some, like, it was in, like, the quietest moments, and it was, like, I smell donuts. And I'm, like, I don't smell like donuts. This is the one fluid ounce, and it's very long-lasting. It's strong, but it's not overbearing. The only con about this is a lot of people wear it, so it's not as unique as, say, the Beetlelicious perfume is, but it's still one of my top five. Okay, so my next fragrance is from Aeropostale, and they actually don't have a name for this. It's called Aero New York, and this is the uh, 1.7 ounce, and this is the fragrance for girls. And this is a perfect dupe for Viva La Juicy. I got it as a gift, but I returned it, but... This is a perfect dupe. They smell just the same. Uh, this one smells a little bit better, in my opinion, and it's way cheaper. Like, this is 20 bucks. Viva La Juicy is, like, 30 bucks. So, I'll tell you the notes in this smell. This nifty, nifty smell. Um, these are the Viva La Juicy notes, but they smell pretty much the same, so... Wild berries, juicy mandarin, honeysuckle, gardenia, and jasmine. Um... Amber, caramel, vanilla, sandalwood, and praline. I personally don't smell the amber, caramel, um, and praline because this is a little bit of a more fruity, beachier smell, but I definitely rec recommend this over Viva Juicy any day because I think it just smells way better. Okay, so my next fragrance is from Aeropostale, and they actually don't have a name for this. It's called Aero New York, and this is the uh, 1.7 ounce and this is the fragrance for girls and this is a perfect dupe for Viva La Juicy I got it as a gift but I returned it but this is a perfect dupe they smell just the same uh, this one smells a little bit better in my opinion and it's way cheaper like this is 20 bucks Viva La Juicy is like 30 bucks so I'll tell you the notes in this smell this nifty nifty smell um, these are the Viva La Juicy Nuts, but they smell pretty much the same, so... Wild berries, juicy mandarin, honeysuckle, gardenia, and jasmine. Um, amber, caramel, vanilla, sandalwood, and praline. I personally don't smell the amber, caramel, um, and praline. 
because this is a little bit of a more fruity, beachier smell, but I definitely rec recommend this over Viva Juicy any day because I think it just smells way better. Okay, so this smell is like the perfect summer night smell. Um, it's not very daytime friendly as any of Britney Spears' perfumes are more night or oriented. This is the Midnight Fantasy 3.3 Fluid Ounce. This is a huge bottle and I will never use this all up, but she has such cute packaging and this smells awesome. And it smells like frambozy, black cherry, and plum. The heart features a harmonious dialogue of night orchid, freesia, and iris. Amber, musk, and vanilla create a dark and warm tail. So that's always nice. That means it smells really good. In other words, it smells awesome. So yeah. Sorry about that. I'm feeling a little spazzy. This is spaz. I'm spaz. But that's okay. okay. So my last fragrance is the pink Victoria's Secret Fresh Vanilla Stream On. And everything from this line is half off. I'm not sure if it still is, but I got this for nine bucks and the big lotion for seven fifty, and I got so mad because the little perfume that's like this big was eight dollars and this was nine so kind of disappointed me but it's okay so it says dream on in a sheer musk and vanilla orchid very descriptive huh so it seriously just smells like sweet lemon vanilla and candy <laughs> that's how I describe it and that's what it smells like and this is like one of my favorite body mists it smells so like, ugh, I can't describe scents, so that's why I look them all up because that annoys me and people are like, it smells like, it smells like good. Um, because, yeah, it can smell good, but it doesn't smell like good. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm gonna give birth to this panda. Hiya! It's a baby panda!